Hello, my name is Dan360 here, and I today we'll be doing a um, tutorial on how I do my videos. So, um, I just wanted to say that I use a Mac, so the process of how I do my videos would be different from PC users, because for starters I use iMovie and that. Um, but this is how I, because if you don't know this, I do my videos post production, so I add in the music to the video file. Right, so if you didn't know that, there it is now, but I wanted to clarify how I do my videos. So, for starters, so I got the video, right? This is Samurai by Felix Ram. I um, posted this video not recently. Um, but yeah, so, as you can see, it's got music. But that's because I put a separate file in. So, what I did is I went to um, Caches. So, this is where all my video files are stored. And then what I do is, if I don't know where the song is, I get the song ID, which is here, 714112. What we do is go 714112. Then that'll take us here, and bam, there's the song. So I will drag in the song here, right, and add it in, but I already have it. And I would, like, um, cut it out, or I'll cut some parts of the song out. So that it matches exactly with the song, right? So that's what I would be doing. Um, I have the application Soundflower, if Mac users would know that, or PC, even if you would know that too. So it would record your desktop, uh, desktop audio, but you wouldn't be able to hear the audio when doing the gameplay. So you'd be able to hear it during the recording when watching it, but when you're actually making the recording, you can't hear it from the computer. So that's not going to work for me because I want to be able to like hear the music. It helps in Jumpy Dash because I'm not, I'm not going to play iTunes in the background. So, and this is why at the end, you don't hear the sound effects for Quest Complete. You don't hear the level complete. You don't hear the coins. Because I'm actually just a... I don't really add in the sound effects. Like there's no need for that. Like you guys know what they sound like, right? Like there's really no need to do that. So... I just get the song. So like I've beaten the levels and the the uh, recording I use, I don't use OBS or every now and then I will, but that's a bit laggy. I use QuickTime Player, so recording the audio would be um, really bad. So for instance, I'm using QuickTime Player now to record this video. If I played the music, this is what the music would sound like in the gameplay. Right, just listen to that. It's not exactly the best quality sound. <clears throat> Wait up! It's not the best quality sound effects, but I prefer to use like a, a video, a good video file of the actual song. Just put it in so that it sounds like what it sounds on YouTube at the moment. So, got my intro. I've got the video file itself. Got the song that I added in to make it, you know, because you don't want to have a video without a song. And I try to match it the best I can to the gameplay, so if there's some of those videos you go back and see that the song isn't exactly correct. Um, I was new to YouTube, I was just figuring out iMovie, so I'm actually much better at it now, so those videos are all good, but the song might just be a tad off, or the editing might be really bad. Yeah, sorry about those videos, but um, yeah, this is just how I do my videos. If you found this useful, leave it in the comments. Um... If you want to let me know of anything, leave it down in the comments, I'll be able to answer it. I'll respond to you as soon as I can, or just because I want to get active with my audience. Um, definitely leave a like, because this video is really awesome, in my opinion. Because it is, just think about it. It's a video, bro. So, thank you for watching. This is Dan360 Gaming, out.